Hey guys, how are you? So I got a quick question I'm going to answer about WordPress. Question for you. I'm running a freelance business. I'm doing okay. My question is, what's the use of coding if WordPress is available? I'm having trouble deciding if I should keep coding or use WordPress and drop coding for good except for updating WordPress. So uh, WordPress is a content management system, the most popular one in the world. Something like 30% of the world's websites run on WordPress and a lot of businesses, small businesses run on WordPress. Even some big businesses will use WordPress. We use WordPress ourselves for our vlog, our blogs on the studio web, which is my learning SaaS. It's not to answer this guy's question who's in the freelance game and he seems to be building it up. It's not a either or situation. It's not binary, as the nerds say, binary is, binary is at zero or one. There's a continuum. A lot of people get the wrong impression that if you learn to code, then you're cutting off using a CMS. Or if you're using a CMS like WordPress, if you work on that, all of a sudden you should just forget about code altogether. You got to look at all these technologies, whether it be coding languages or frameworks or content management systems like WordPress or Drupal or whatever. You got to look at them as tools, tools in your tool belt that you can use when you feel you need to use them. You don't have to think of, uh, you don't have to be all in or all out. You can sort of like spread it around, which you're going to find in your career, especially as a freelancer, is that flexibility in terms of these skills and services that you offer will open up a lot more opportunity. It's good to know how to code because if you're going to be working with WordPress, uh, creating themes, customizing themes, the themes are the visual templates and they can provide functionality as well for WordPress. Knowing how to code HTML, CSS and PHP really helps a lot. Maybe a little dash of JavaScript as well. If you want to get into WordPress uh, plugin development, etc., again, that's where good coding skills, PHP skills come, come in handy. So I would say it's not an all or nothing situation. Let the market dictate to you. You don't have to use a skill. This is, again, here's another misconception. People feel that they have to if, I'm, if I know this, I have to use this. No. So if you know PHP, for example, or if you know Python, for example, it's not necessary that you have to write in those languages. As you become more experienced, whether you work for somebody or you're freelancing, etc., you're going to find that these skills are just something to pull out of your skill box when you need to do it. Let the market decide and let your particular interest decide. So I have a good um, he's a friend of mine, but he's also also been working with me for years. And he is a competent full stack developer, but he's also a very good front end UX UI guy. And um, he has decided to concentrate on UX UI as opposed to full development. I've offered him uh, gigs. I say, hey, you want to, you know, I need some full stack work here. And he said, I don't like doing full stack. I just prefer st to stick to UX UI. And that's cool. So that's what he does. And he's really good. So he's decided to do that. But his ability to write code and do full stack makes him a much better UX UI guy because he can communicate with UX, with uh, full stack people. And he puts together his UIs, his user interfaces in such a way that full stack people can implement them, put them into place very easily. So he's doing, I would say, 90% UX UI. There's a lot of, there's code in there, no, no question about it, but it's much more about the aesthetic and the UX, the user experience, uh, logical structuring of the whole thing. He's very good at that. But he does the occasional back-end programming as well. So it's good to have both skills in your uh, skill box, as I said. But you're going to uh, pivot in and out of things depending on the demand and depending on um, demand from clients and depending on what you want to do. So to finalize this, it's not an all or nothing. 
if you find you're getting a lot of work in WordPress, then work on WordPress. But don't just throw out the coding skills. Just have it there on the side. You know, you, you never know when it will come in handy, right? You may get a gig that pops up where somebody needs to create some custom plugins in WordPress, and they're going to pay you a lot of money. And so um, that's where having good coding skills is going to come in super handy. All right. I got to go back to work. Bye-bye.